So I've just discovered this incredible automation tool um, that I'm sure some people have known about for a long time, but I am just discovering. It's called Keyboard Maestro, and this thing is pretty incredible. It does so many amazing things that can just make your life better on your Mac and uh, give you a quicker, pro enhance your productivity, and uh, kind of fix some apps that have problems by default that you can't fix. Maestro is a way of automating all kinds of tasks you do on your Mac. Um, really, it's everything from, you know, if you click on a certain window, it does something else. If you uh, type a keyboard shortcut, it can do an entire series of things. There's really no limit to what you can do on this. Okay, there's probably some limits, but in reality, um, there's so much in depth that you can figure out here. So. Um, a couple of things about it is that it's fairly easy to figure out um, if you have some decent kind of uh, computer skills, but um, you know there are some learning curves for sure that take some experimentation. Fortunately, there's an entire set of um, built-in options you can find if you go to the macro library, and um, you know there's tons of ones that people have already made, which are great that you can just. Um, get started right away without having to learn anything. Like here's one for XPC user packs. So if you're switching from PC, it helps you figure out certain keys and uh, map different things to different ways. So there's a bunch of built-in things, which is really cool um, if you don't want to dive in yourself. Uh, you can do basic things like um, text expansion. So for me, um, I don't like typing, having to type out my whole website address. So I can just type in uh, exclamation point www and it does it all for me. Um, you know, or my mailing address, you know, so there's some basic things like that. You can put in a whole series of texts uh, to do that, you know, and, and write whole messages in there that are things that you constantly, uh, constantly say. Um, so that's really cool, basic thing. There are other apps that do that, but it's cool to know that you don't have to purchase an additional one and you can do that in here. Um, one of the things that I really love is um, this ability to automatically launch different applications. So for me, um, you know, even though I have it in my calendar to do my accounting every week, um, I often, you know, get busy with other things and I just like see the notification and I let it go and forget about it. Um, so with this, I have it set up so that every Tuesday at uh, 10 a.m., um, I actually have it so that QuickBooks will just launch on my computer and open up for me. Uh, and you may think this is distracting from the middle of something. Well, one of the cool things is that you can actually change um, set conditions. So if you are running certain applications, it won't pop up. For me, I set this so that if I'm using my sales software or my web conferencing software, it won't come up until I've let, quit both of those. Once I do, then it'll pop up and it'll be ready to go. Um, you can use that to launch anything at any time. Uh, you can also launch different apps just you know on other sorts of triggers. This one's based on a time, but there's other things like if you open one app, it'll open other apps. So that's a really cool um, thing, and you can think about how that would fit into your workflow. One of my other favorite ones here is um, opening all new windows and tabs and resizing it. So um, for me, I really like to like how the macOS Finder keeps you know a tabbed Finder. Um, However, when you open a new uh, a new folder, say from, let's go here, if I click, you know, and I just downloaded something and I wanna open the downloads, if I click this, normally what would happen is it would pull out a whole nother window and then I'd have another finder window and then I'd have my other one over here and, you know, I'd be having to go back and forth between them. What I love about the way I've made this um, application work is that if I click, click here and you already saw this but it actually does two things it clicks um, merge all windows together so that's something that I could manually go and click but it actually goes in I have a program to do that automatically and then resize the window so I can see them all together um, that just saves me some time every day you know when I'm opening files and keeps me more organized and over periods of time it, it saves a lot of time so another one, um, I use the application Dashlane for, um, to manage all my passwords and some other things. Um, this stuff doesn't really mean anything, so I don't care if you see it, because uh, it's just receipts that it's randomly pulled in there. Uh, but the normal behavior of, of a window in macOS is that 
when you minimize it, say you go to a different application, when you go back to that application, so I'm going to turn this off first, so if you go back to that application, it's going to stay minimized. The way to get it back is that I have to click window and click dash line. Not the end of the world, but it does take time and um, it does slow me down a bit. So I'm going to minimize that because I don't want people walking by and knowing my password manager is sitting there. So let's pop that back up. And now when I go to Dashlane, it's going to automatically pull up the window for me. So over the period of time, that's another thing that's going to save, save me time and effort. Another thing I like to do, um, this is another thing where there's dedicated apps for this, but the fact you can do it in here is great. Um, I have it pop up every hour telling me to take a break on my screen because you know I get stuck on the computer and I'm just working and it just keeps me uh, this keeps me from just getting into that you know drone mode where I don't ever look up from my screen one of the big things about this though is I have conditions here again so this isn't gonna pop up if I'm using my sales software or web conferencing with a client there's a number of ways they can do it the way I have this here is it pops up a big screen like this I wrote in the text and then it'll disappear after a, after a couple seconds there. You can also change what you do here. You can make it a more subtle notice in the corner, uh, a toast notification. Um, you can make it a text window so that you're actually going to have to um, modify it before, you know, address it before it goes away. So there's a number of ways you can do that depending on what works for you. I just have this to go every hour while I'm logged in um, and set it for the hours that I'm here and the days that I want it to work. Um, another really cool one, and this one really is a, is a lifesaver for me. Um, I love to get notifications from my messages app while I'm on my, uh, on my computer so I don't have to pull up my phone. And um, the problem with that is that if you are web conferencing with a client or, um, you know, I'm sure you've seen other screencasts where people's messages and emails stop, start popping up. Well, for me, I don't ever want that to happen. So what I do is I've just turned off notifications on many of my apps because I don't want them popping up at the wrong time. What this does is this actually, while I'm running either my web conferencing or my sales software, it will automatically turn on do not disturb mode. And what's really cool about that is that it'll then turn it back off when I quit those applications. Um, this was a little complicated to get working, but um, I had to do a move and click thing. So you can actually get it to um, move to any place and click any place on the, me on the computer and you can do modifiers. So for me, I had it go to the corner and option click the notification panel, which turn toggles do not disturb. So to see the way this works, let's say I pull up zoom, and you'll see that it moved to the corner there, and if I go up here, do not disturb is now on. And when I quit this, it's gonna do that same action, and do not disturb is now off. Um, seems really simple, but it is a lifesaver and will actually let me use my messages the way, or my notifications the way I want. Uh, so those are just a couple of things, really cool options. Um, I give this, this app a 10 thumbs up. It's really, um, I don't know why I said that, 10 stars, 10 fingers up, <laughs> whatever. And uh, I think it's a great app and totally worth what they're charging for it because it's just going to save a lot of time over the years and the ability to kind of make things work for how you work and save you time and automate things is, is huge for your daily workflow. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.